Today we are on our way to actually ordering our grain bin, but before we did that, we decided to go out and visit the company that we were buying for. It was actually at the suggestion of the owner. He said that since you're using the grain bin for a house and not for farm use, for what it was created for, he wanted us to come out and make sure we saw what we were getting into, which I really appreciate because we did learn a lot today. I'm going to give you a little background information of what we had decided so far before we actually looked at the grain bin. What we were looking at was buying a grain bin 27 feet in diameter. And you can see by this picture here, um, basically the diameter is all the way across the bottom. And then you have the height. Now you can, you can walk in and say, hey, I want something 18 feet tall, but it really depends on the rings. A grain bin, I'm gonna give you a chart here. They have the diameter that you can order, and then you have to order how many rings you want. And to get the diameter, the height that we wanted, we figured we might need seven rings because we wanted a two story building. And each ring at this company is 32 inches high so it's not three feet a little bit less so you had it really kind of do the math figured out i'm going to um, give you a picture here this is an actual new grain bin and you can see here it's got um, rings and there's one two three four five six rings going around then you have to purchase the the roof separate these are vents um, you can get a, a stairway on the outside there's a heavy grain door and then of course if you're using it for a farm there's all kinds of equipment that you can buy we're just getting a shell and then we're going to decide what else we need and obviously you can see it's sitting on a concrete foundation pad all right we are at the store and let's go in and find out um, some more information this i was happy to come see the warehouse because it lets us see that this is a legit company and we can go in and actually see um, product that they have and there were things here that he said um for, for example we weren't sure as uh, going into this if we were going to get a metal staircase inside or if my husband was going to build one and the owner did tell us if we changed our mind that we could come back and order the the stairway so we kind of put that on the side until we decided what we were going to do and just a couple miles down the road we ended up at a local farm at where the owner was actually going to do an inspection and some maintenance on some grain bins that he had sold to a local farmer these are huge so this is not anything like what we're building but it gives us an idea of what it will feel like what my husband has to do as far as his construction and everything like that we were able to go into the grain bin and we noticed the door was really heavy and you had to step up into it and even though it was authentic it wasn't practical so we made a decision that we're just going to put regular doors into our grain bin house and cut that part out i'm going to give you a little bit of a film here it's less than a minute or so um, where you can hear them echoing inside just so you can it's like being in a tin can to be honest but you can hear them and you can get a view of the ceiling from inside so go ahead and watch that and then we'll continue Outside here, you see that there's a pad. And on a grain bin like this, where it's holding a huge amount of weight, the pad is three feet tall. And the owner even told us he will construct the grain bin, but he said you might want to go hire a different company because he uses a company that specializes in this and it's really pricey. So again, I appreciate that information. Our, our, our pad only has to be about a foot tall to be a little bit authentic, not three feet tall. And that will cut back on some of the expenses. One of the things he really wanted to point out was the seal around the outside of the grain bin when you go to put the grain bin on obviously you're going to level it onto the pad but then there's going to be some air or some um, visually where you know there's an air pocket there so they have to go around and seal that when you build a house sometimes that seal may break and it's not efficient for having a home so what my husband decided to do from that information was to put radiant heating on the floor and then put another layer of concrete and then that will solve that problem now why did we decide to go with a new grain bin and not an old grain bin I have a picture here of an old grain bin you can see they, they look authentic they're rusty they look cool but once you buy an old grain bin and you go to move it, you have to pay to have it torn down, you have to pay to have it transported, and then you have to pay to have it put back up. And so basically you're tripling the cost of the insulation, even though you're saving cost in the purchase. 
After thinking about it, we decided that it would be more cost effective and better as a building to go with a new build and not with an old one. Now, if we had bought a piece of property and that grain bin was sitting there, obviously that's what we would have done, but we weren't able to find anything and we wanted to put this on our own property. So that was the reason that we decided to go with a new one. This can be done in old grain bins as well. So our day was a success. We've got our grain bin ordered. We've got them scheduled for delivery. And now our next step is to clear the site, get it ready to put the foundation and the concrete pad in.